All right, so I'm gonna give this a try, doing a video myself with this little holder thing to show you how to remove carpet really, really easily. Now I've already gone and, that's Riley. I've already gone and, and cut along this line right here. As you can see, I've done a really easy, simple cut with just a utility knife and I'm going to roll it next. So the utility knife I use is really cheap and easy. This right here, it was like $3. And always wear gloves. And it's 6 a.m. so be a little nice. I look like crap. Um, I don't usually wear gloves when I actually do the cutting just because it's easier to hold the utility knife. So I'm gonna show you how to cut the second line. I'm just gonna go as close as I can get to the piece of furniture that I'm cutting around. And you're just gonna dig in and cut. Hi, helper. All right, step back. And you're gonna drag your blade back. And you dig it in real good. And then if you want, you can check and see if it went all the way through. Sometimes it doesn't and you can go back and cut a couple extra pieces or areas Daddy. in a knife, but it usually... Daddy. And then of course, when you're not using it, always put that knife away, fold it back. Now, the hardest part is gonna be getting it out from under the heater. I mean, no joke, that's actually the most difficult part of this whole thing. Um, I'm gonna take my glove off again and get my knife out just in case I need it. And remember, there's gonna be a tack strip underneath there. So, I'm gonna use, I have a hammer and needle nose pliers also, because sometimes getting it out is a little difficult at first. And you can't exactly see what I'm doing over here, but I am going and lifting it out. That's mommy's craft cabinet. Can you leave that shut so they can see on the TV? Now I've gone. Thank you. Now I've gone and I'm ripping it up from the side right here to make it easier to get to the baseboard area. Vivian, can you go back? Take a few steps back, please. Thank you. And I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut like underneath. and pull as I do it, and just slide that blade right in there, and cut on that area there, and then pull, and put pressure on the baseboard also if you need to. That way it doesn't come off. If you don't care if your baseboard comes off, then by all means, don't. But, um, I mean, you always have the option of removing your baseboard first also but I really didn't feel like doing that. So, and again, this is gonna be the hardest part. So I'm right at the edge here, cutting into that carpet, getting it away from the other carpet so I can pull. And now we're just gonna pull it up here. See how easy this is? 
again. Keep the knife closed always. Can you take a few steps back, please? Thank you. Now this end is going to be a lot easier to cut over there because we already have this out. So open the utility knife again and just make your cuts. Have that part back. Close up the knife. Oh, you got a yoga wheel. That's fun. And then we're going to pull this back, and underneath you can see that carpet padding. You are going to want to pull that along with it. So this is how you're going to get it up nice and easy all at once. Usually when you go through, when you cut your carpet in your lines, it's going to score the padding also. Sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, just cut it as you go. Also, it rips really easily. So you always can do that too. Sometimes your carpet will need a little extra help. When you first get going. Okay, so that up there and give it a nice tight roll like you're making a jelly roll or a roulade this is when it starts to get sweaty this size being all the brat that's okay no biggie. You just pull and roll. Pull and roll. You can always tuck it under. Keep it tight. Pull and roll. Also, you can keep your knife close at hand. Keep cutting. You gonna stomp it down for me? Thanks. Don't touch that. That's not for touching either. It's my makeup. Makeup I never wear. But you know, makeup nonetheless. Should rename this housework with a toddler. Vivian, can you step back please? Pause this until I get to the end. Okay, so we're back. And we have it rolled to the end here, as you can see. Everything's ready to go. And I have my twine. I'm going to put my glove back on. It's not as tight of a roll as I usually like. Uh, I did have to stop a couple times just because of baby and dogs and life. And, uh, and the, the padding in this room for some reason is a real, real pain in the butt. So there's our roll. And this is going to make it a lot easier to dispose of. 
put it in bags to take it to the dump. If you got a pickup truck, by all means, throw it in the back of the truck. If you have a pickup truck, what could be really good is open your window, toss it out your window. Then you don't even have to carry it anywhere. Alright, so I'm just going to tie it up like so. A little hard to tie with gloves on, but um, especially because they're loose. But it works. Does what we need it to. And there you have it. And next, I will show you how to clean it up and take the tack strips off.